This is the interface to the model that combines a global economic model with a carbon cycle model and a climate model. We've already looked at the climate model and the combination carbon and climate together with an emissions model. This one includes uh, a model uh, that's based on, on uh, William Nordhaus's work um, that represents a global economy. So it links all of these things together. Now there's only really one thing that you're going to um, interact with on this model in, in, in terms of um, making changes, and that's this, this um, graphical function called ECR. This is the emissions control rate. And if we click on that, we see uh, this graphical function. It's something that varies from zero to one. And if it's zero, it means we're doing nothing really to control emissions of carbon uh, from burning fossil fuels. If it's one, it means we're going all out. We're, we're going to spend whatever it takes to um, you know, remove all the carbon um, emissions from, from our um, economic activity. So initially it's set to, to be something very close to zero. You can alter it by um, clicking at different points here and create a model that, that takes us to this very, very, um, you know, clean um, energy situation here in, in the future. This, this line here at the edge is the year 2200. Uh, the one on, on the far left is the year 2000, and then in between, in the middle, there's uh, 2050, 2100, and 2150. So you're going to be given a set of, of instructions for um, uh, a scenario for how this ECR is going to vary, and you're going to modify this graph according to those instructions you get. And you're going to hit OK, and then you're going to run the model. And when you run it, you see it gives you all sorts of outputs after a while, including human emissions, global temperature. In, in total, there are something like uh, 17 different pages of um, uh, features from the model that are graphed here. So you're going to have to sift through the, these, um, these pages and find the right parameters and then you know, record things like the ending value of the, the sum of the relative per capita consumption, which is... Uh, an important parameter in this model that's explained in the lab activity. So that's it.